You guys know that? Language. Language is very important in statistics. It's sort of intimidating. You guys come from algebra backgrounds, and when you read a statement, you think you have to transcribe it exactly in the same way you do in algebra, right? Four less than twice the number is more than the number and eight. And you transcribe that, you solve it, and you give an answer. You don't have to do that here with statistics. In fact, if you do any sort of reading, does anybody read for pleasure? <laughs> if you just read anything, right, you're not transcribing necessarily, al you're not using algebra. You're just, you're just comprehending what's, what's being written. The same thing is happening here in statistics. There's no real mystery, okay, in the reading. So don't get disturbed when you look at your problems and go, oh my God, every single problem is a word problem. But yeah, but it's not, this, it's not algebra word problems. It's, they're not mixture problems. They're not distance problems. They're not growth and exponential problems. These are just simply what? Your everyday language reading problems. If somebody says this to you, what is the meaning of at least one? <laughs> See? What was, you have one or you don't have one. See, you're gonna hear, I'm gonna, we're going to hear a lot of different things, and that's good that we hear them because we want to we wanna get that, those, those thoughts out of our head, right? We want to get what, what it really means. And if you do it now, then you're going to be pretty good for the rest of the semester because this is a big part. For some people, this is simple. They go, oh, my God, I can't believe he's even talking about it. I thought I was going to be in Chapter 5 by now, and you're talking about at least one. Guess what else is on that multimedia presentation? The language of this stuff is even there. Nice. <laughs> I mean, let's think about this. What does at least one mean? What does it mean? One or more. Is that true? If I say you can have at least one cookie before dinner, do you have to have? How many do you have to have? You don't have to have. Let's be careful. When you say at least one, you can have one, exactly one. Don't say you have to only have one. No. You can have one or, or more, or two, or three, or four, or five, or you can have the whole box. Having at least one is one or more, and that's what it's going to be forever. Okay, you guys okay with that? At least one? So when they ask you what percent of the class has at least one child, go to the data value over here and find the values that satisfy the statement of being at least one. Which are they? The one. What else? The two. What else? The three. These three numbers are at least one. And so since they asked you a question regarding percentages, you're going to take the 20% plus 0 plus 10, which is what? 30%. So if you want to show the work, you can. You can say the 20 plus 0 plus 10, and you get a 30 what? A 30%. 30% have at least one child, meaning one or more. OK? You guys OK with this? What does at least two mean? If I say you can have at least two cookies before dinner, what does that mean? Can you have only one? You need to have what? Two at the least. Two R, three R, four R, five, two or more. Two or more, is that right? So what data values satisfy the statement of being at least two? The two and the what? Three. What percentages are there? Zero plus 10 is what? What is zero plus 10? So it's what? 10%? Zero plus 10 gives you that 
Anybody have any questions on that? Is it still easy? Is it easy? Are you sure? Now I don't hear confidence anymore. It's kind of, it's yeah. gone. It's like, it's like you notice that. At least two. Ladies and gentlemen, at least two means, I mean, I can, I can do this to you as well. I can say, instead of having cookies, right, what if I told you I'm going to give you at least two dollars? <laughs> when you talk about money, what happens? People know exactly what you're talking about. So if I said I'm going to give you at least two dollars, what am I saying? <laughs> well, what can I give you? What if I gave you nothing? Oh, I'm a liar. I'm not giving you at least two. What if I gave you only one dollar? I'm a liar again. I <coughs> Is, am I OK if I give you two dollars exactly? <coughs> am I? What if I decided I'll give you three? Am I still OK? What if I said I'm going to give you five? What if I gave you a hundred dollars? Notice two or more satisfies the statement at least two. OK, look at the next statement. I'm going to give you less than two, less than two dollars. What can I give you? <coughs> Excuse me? What if I gave you nothing? Why is that fine? Less than two means what? Smaller than two. What data values are smaller than two? The zero and one. So if I said I'm giving you less than two dollars, I can tell everybody here now this. Every, before you leave today, I'm giving you less than two dollars. And I'm not a what? Liar. Why? Because even if I gave you nothing, that's less than two. Try talking that way. You guys know who talk, you know, who, anybody know people who talk that way? <laughs> no, I talk that way. If I say, Ashley, Ashley's my daughter. What does Ashley always want? She always wants to go shopping. God. You like going shopping? So I say, Ashley, you're going to get less than two pairs of shoes, OK? And you want to know what the irony is? She knows exactly what I'm talking about. She goes through the math and says, goes through the, she's eight. She knows what less than two is. And I use this all the time on her because, I mean, the moment you use this language on people, they really pay attention. <laughs> less than two. She goes, Daddy, what if I don't find any shoes that I like? Well, that's OK. It's still less than two. <laughs> and she goes, hmm, so can I get one pair? She goes, that's less than two. You can get one pair. She goes, can I get two? Because she always likes to test it. She wants to test to see if I know what less than two means. What about two? Ashley, that's not what less than. So when you talk about things in a way that people, it's personal to them and it has a lot of meaning, all of a 